Hello there, my beautiful Virgo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Virgo, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. Now, as I'm shuffling these cards, I wanted to remind everyone that I have a live moon ritual event coming up August the 1st, 7.30 p.m. PST time. So if any of you are interested, please mark it down in your calendars. I would love to see each and every one of you there. And the other thing is we've got some more uh, magic intention candles in stock. My sister-in-law had run out, so she's made some more. If any of you are interested in purchasing these, the information is in the description box below. All right, my friends, let's pull some cards for you. So I'm gonna split this uh, deck in half and see what we get. Look at this, Virgo, 10 of Pentacles. This is all of your dreams coming true. This is a place of ultimate abundance, a place of security, a place of freedom. This is all what you are manifesting into your life. I feel that some of you have big dreams, big goals, and you're aiming for them. Nothing is going to stop you here, my friends. This is a confirmation from the universe that this place is very real for you that you know, those of you that are able to raise your frequency, raise your vibrations and really stay in that positive mindset, you are going to get to this place. Now, Virgo, I want you to use your own intuitions with my readings. Every time you see my cards coming up here to take a look at the image and see what your intuition lets you know, you're going to receive your own intuitive messages. Okay, so we've got the 10 of Pentacles coming in. We also have strength. So this is a major arcana card. This energy is in the background. It's prominent. Some of you are feeling this intensely. Others, you are feeling this subtly. This is change coming into your life. And I feel that um, because some of you are manifesting this reality into your life, you're experiencing a lot of change, a little bit of turbulence, right? Things are starting to unfold in your lives and might not feel good. Um, it, it's obviously feeling a little chaotic and you're having to tap into your inner strength and practice patience here. You have it within yourself to rise from what you are going through right now, Virgo. Okay, everything is going to work in your favor. Know that this is a card of victory and triumph. Okay, so know that you have it within you. You are stronger than you know to get through any kind of challenge, any kind of obstacle, any kind of struggles. Okay, so next we're getting the star card, another major arcana card. So some of you are seeing synchronicities in your life. Some of you are seeing the signs all around you. You are divinely being guided right now, Virgo. And what's happening here is spirit guides and the universe are working in collaboration to lead you towards this 10 of Pentacles place. All right, so I want you to be aware of what is going on. Um, it's not that you're um, kind of... Uh, looking around for the signs because they're going to show themselves to you. It's just being aware of them when they present themselves to you. Synchronicities are very huge right now. They're all around you and I feel that some of you are very aware. Your senses are heightened right now so you're seeing some of those signs and synchronicities playing out in your life. Now I'm just going to take a look at these cards at the spread and just see what is coming through here. So this turbulent energy, this chaos energy, I feel that some of you are feeling like you're being tested in some way. And spirit guides want you to hold this vision as strong as you can because um, this turbulent energy that you're experiencing right now, whatever it is that you're going through, Virgo, you're actually meant to go through it because you're going to gain superpower through that, okay? So I want you to be aware of this right away. There's something that you're meant to learn through the turbulent energy. Not everyone's going through this turbulent energy. Some of you are going through your day-to-day, -day, you know, this rush, rushing hustle bustle energy that might be getting um, the best of you because it is draining. It is um, kind of testing you in a way because you're kind of like, how much more of this can I take? Traffic is crazy. You know, I have to go to work, come home, do this, that, all these responsibilities and obligations that can sometimes take a toll on us, right? So it's taking your inner strength for that as well. Now, the other thing is that some of you are building something. I feel that some of you have kind of this beautiful vision 
to build material wealth, to build a home, and you're wanting happiness and everything that comes with it, that joy, that happiness, that excitement. So if you're feeling that excitement within yourself as you are visualizing this, this is where everything starts to work in collaboration in your favor. Okay, this is where all those signs and synchronicities start to come in. So following that path of intuition is following that excitement, following that joy, following that passion and that love. What is it in your life right now that brings you that Virgo? Because once you start following that, that is what's going to lead you to the Ten of Pentacles place. And owning this place, believing that this is yours. So having a visual visualization for this place. Now, what happens here is we're, you know, when we build this, uh, this reality in our mind, um, we have to build a bridge, that connection that takes us to this place. The thing with that building of the bridge and take, connecting us to that place is, yes, we have to initiate and we have to act on some of the synchronicities and things that are coming towards us, right? Um, but it's also not forcing it to happen, right? Um, and I feel that some of us can sometimes force things to happen because this dream is so big, it's there and you're kind of like, okay, I'm going to make sure I get there. But that force that goes, so I'm, I'm getting this forceful energy and I don't know why, maybe this is coming through the strength card, um, but they're wanting you to release um, the force that you're putting behind it. Rather, um, yes, you're meant to act and work hard and put your energy towards it, but in a way that it flows with the energy that is around you and not to push too hard because you're going to overexert yourself, okay? Okay. And the things that are happening in your life right now, especially when you're having to tap into the strength card, when you're having to tap into that inner strength, um, this is where spirit guides, um, it's, I don't know what this energy is, it's so interesting because there's different, different things happening and it's because we're all going through a different life experience, right? But um, some of you are being challenged through family, some of you are being challenged through work, some of you are being challenged in your personal life in some way, and some of you, it's you that's challenging yourself. Sometimes we have these limiting beliefs or self-doubts, these stories we tell ourselves. Sometimes we can be hard on ourselves, especially if things aren't working out in our favor. Um, this could be many different things happening all at once. This is where spirit guides want you to let go of the outcome, let go of the expectation around this 10 of pentacles place. They want you to visualize it, but they don't want you to put any kind of expectations on it. Having crystal clear clarity and visualizing it in your mind and believing that you're going to get there, that everything is working in alignment in your favor to lead you there is what they're wanting you to practice here, Virgo. So those of you that are out there that are kind of um, feeling like time is going by way too quickly, that you're not in the place that you're meant to be right now, you're not getting to this 10 of pentacles place quickly enough, they want you to slow down. And this is where strength comes in because strength is also patience, practicing patience and not trying to force things to happen, okay? Everything is happening in the background. You're going to get to where you need to go. And spirit guides are letting you know that you are in the right place right now, okay? So they're wanting you to start experiencing the beauty of your world, living in the now, in the present, and you know having faith that things are going to work out once you release that energy of control and forcefulness, you're going to feel a lot lighter here, Virgo. And I'm not saying that everyone is feeling this way, but sometimes life can get in the way and make us feel that way. So it's all about um, learning how to manage those emotions, learning how to kind of release expectations and allow yourself to flow uh, naturally, okay? And knowing that this place is coming towards you, that you are going to get there, it's promised to you. This is your birthright, Virgo, okay? So know that you are going to have that abundance. You are going to have that material success. I feel for some of you... Uh, you know, the material success is coming no matter what. I feel for a majority of you, this is more about your happiness. Being in that place that brings you that ultimate happiness. There's no worry there. There's no stress there, right? And it starts with you. It starts with you putting some roots in and grounding yourself having a belief system around this. I feel sometimes we have these belief systems that we pick up along the way through our life experience, through childhood, through our parents, through our schooling, through our friends, through society, right? Through our government, all these kind of things. And 
I feel that some of you are shifting in a way and you're kind of some of those beliefs aren't aligned to you, right? So they're wanting you to shift that as well. So this is coming through the Ten of Pentacles card to create your own belief system. And this is a belief system that's true to you. And nobody needs to know what your belief system is here, Virgo. It's something that is sacred to you. So it's the things that you follow in your life and um, that are true to you that you kind of... Um, um, build for yourself it's so interesting because I feel that I don't know why I'm getting I can't do this um, there's no way this is possible I'm getting these like um, you know these words that are coming in that are almost going against this ten of pentacles place and for others you're using a, a positive affirmations and I'm going to let you know here there's a technique that you can use Virgo especially those of you that don't believe in the ten of pentacles place or you feel that you can't get to this place that how is this even possible mirror techniques are really good and it starts with um, getting up every single morning with a smile on your face and I know this is hard to do and it sounds it's a very simple technique and it works um, and I do this every morning. I, I, when I get out of bed, I have the biggest smile because I'm so happy to be alive that I woke up this day. I get another chance to build my dreams, right? So I got this big smile on my face and I go into the bathroom and I look at myself and I tell myself all of these good things about myself, how I'm going to reach this goal. I'm almost there. It's there. I can see it, right? So practicing these mirror techniques and there's tons of ways you can do it. There's tons of videos on YouTube you can find, right? So any kind of negative self-talk you have have to release yourself from that Virgo it's going to take a lot of strength it's going to take a lot of consistency it's going to take a lot of patience okay but you have it within yourself to create the reality that you want I feel that some of you have um you're very reliable I'm getting that some of you have a really good support team around you um, you're somebody that is uh, does a lot for others and you do it uh, with love without any kind of expectations for other people and sometimes you get disappointed here and it takes a lot of willpower it takes a lot of you to kind of um, stay grounded and not let people get the best of you so I feel there's a little bit of challenges around people for some of you and especially because you are so kind-hearted Virgo you are somebody that sees um, you know every angle of a situation so you're you're very in tune you're very you're an observer and you're very fair-minded okay so I feel there's a little bit of a challenge as you're kind of working towards this there's this like a little bit of energy around you somewhere where it feels like you're almost being tested okay maybe some of you are going through a storm perhaps there's a storm and you're kind of going through this storm right now uh, and you're about to come out and there's this beautiful world on the other side and know that the ten of pentacles place is waiting for you to claim it okay so no matter what it is you are stronger than you know here my friends tap into that inner version of yourself that inner strength to that lion and pull that out and roar as loud as you can it's not literally roaring loud but it's that that power within yourself to come out and shine and come through any kind of challenges or struggles that you are facing right now and look at the divine guidance it's all around you I feel that some of you are dreaming um, you're seeing the signs around you so if you've been seeing like butterflies ladybugs owls um, doves like anything around nature you're seeing the signs and you know that you're divinely being guided and anytime you see a sign from the universe this could be angel numbers right it's letting you know that you are in the right place right now and different numbers different signs if you pull up Google and search the spiritual meaning will let you know exactly what that uh, meaning is for an animal say for example you saw a crow or you saw a turtle right or a peacock um, if you saw like cloud formations if you're looking up at the sky and you see something right um, there's lots of um, signs you know the way the universe speaks to us is through the universe so I feel you're divinely being guided I also feel that there's this funny feeling for some of you where you know perhaps you're going through a storm right now which is like chaos or struggle there's some sort of turbulent energy around you but there's almost this sense of knowing within yourself that okay if I ride this storm out I know that there's something on the other side so there's hope and there's faith there 
the hope is there because you know that you're somebody that can come out of this storm you know that you are very strong that you are resilient that you're going to get through anything and you're not going to let anything get you down so there's almost that feeling here as well and it's like you're rebuilding your strength you're looking around at what's going on and you're starting to notice some of the lessons that you need to learn from this experience and that this experience that some of you are going through it could be a minor struggle it could be a, a little itty bitty storm it could be a big one it could be a flipping tornado right um, but you're seeing that this is a part of that molding energy that is kind of giving you a super strength as you come out of this building you into that version that can take on the ten of pentacles sometimes um you know, we want something so bad, but we're not ready for it. And this is where divine timing and patience comes into play, right? We're being built into that version of ourself that is able to handle the success, the abundance that comes with the Ten of Pentacles place. So be, spirit girls ultimately are asking you to be very patient here. And, you know, you're in the right place. You're, you know, you are where you're meant to be right now. So if you're watching today, know that everything is happening for a reason. You're in the place that you are right now. And that, that is the right place for you, that you're divinely being guided. You're going to start seeing synchronicities if you haven't already. Uh, it's all about uh, being aware of everything that is around us. Even when we go through a storm, there are synchronicities that can guide us outside of that storm so it's all about uh, recognizing them so uh, for example if you're going through something um, it's it's like when I first uh, had gotten uh, I was working at a dental office I'm just gonna spit it out <laughs> I'm just like how do I say this I'm just gonna say it like it is I got fired from a job that was the storm in my life and um, one of the storms I had many storms and I'm sure I'm gonna have more storms but I was fired from a position and as I left that office I was outside sitting there going through the storm energy and I felt this spark after a couple of hours of you know letting those emotions out crying crying in the car and going through that process um, I felt this spark like no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let that happen there's no way this is gonna and this was that intuition that was the strength card coming inside of me like no way so I felt the spark within me that's intuition guiding you right well that was the intuition guiding me like no I'm not gonna let this happen to me so I drove home washed my face got ready and went and applied at other jobs at other offices and I had found this one office that I really wanted to work at so I just went there without an appointment or a meeting not even knowing whether they hired or not and I got the job on the spot so that was me listening to my intuition being pulled out of that storm that I was going through and, and that's kind of what um, the star card is so I feel for some of you your fe that feeling listen to those feelings within yourself things that light that spark that you feel that good spark that spark of strength that spark of fearness that comes through right this is that lion that is raging within yourself that's the strength card okay so it's leading you you're divinely being guided and this is where you're being guided to because that job I got was paid paying me way more than what I was getting paid I was actually underpaid where I was current that time working and I knew what my worth was and then the dentist that hired me at that time knew what my worth was and I was getting it was like a blessing in disguise right so I feel for some of you uh, whatever it is that you're going through right now believe in that power of you and the universe that you are going to get through any storm any kind of turbulent energy small or big uh, if you're lost and you're trying to find your way listen to your inner voice because that's going to guide you towards where you need to go okay so this is what's coming through I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you from the spirit of the animals oracle deck so those of you that have been seeing animals or insects around you this is going to be your confirmation all right so let's see what we get here for you today Virgo so we are getting hummingbird miracles are on their way my friend so if you've seen a hummingbird recently this is your confirmation if you haven't seen one you're seeing one now on your screen so let me read you the interpretation from the card and then I will read one from the guidebook here as well so you are the joy bringer Virgo you bless the world with positivity and love energy soars and your shining wings 
uh, energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. So spread that happiness around you right now, Virgo, because you're going to get that back tenfold. All right, so experience the joys of life, the little pleasures that are all, all around you. Okay, so hummingbird, here it is. I just missed it. Oh my goodness, look at this. All right, if hummingbird is your totem, you are a person of joy and you bring a smile to everyone you meet, Virgo. Hummingbird takes away sorrow, worry, and sadness. Hummingbird medicine teaches us to let stress and troubles go. When hummingbird appears, it is a reminder to spend time in the garden, drink from the sweet nectar of life, and flit from flower to flower, helping to propagate all that is beautiful. Hummingbird people are the masters of healing with herbs, flowers, colorful stones, aromatherapy, and love. If you have hummingbird as totem, you naturally radiate to colors of the rainbow. Your bright, cheerful presence and sweet laughter is a blessing to all you meet. You are a person who creates happiness Sorry, you are a person who creates happy life magic. Look at you go, Virgo. Hummingbird energy is associated with accomplishing that which seems impossible. You can even fly upside down. Oh my goodness. If hummingbird is in your life, you have the ability to see the good in others and beauty wherever you go. Acceptance and love are the healing powers you off offer by just being yourself. You have a very high energy which naturally uplifts others, but even hummingbirds need rest. Take time with the flowers for renewal and let others take away your and never let others take away your joy, sparkle, or positivity. Happiness is who you are, Virgo. So look at that. What a beautiful message for you today. I love this. All right, I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. All right, my friends. So let's see what we get here for you. 77, I am brave. And I feel this is tapping in so nicely with the strength card today. So any of you been seeing seven sevens or 77 together, know that you, my friends, are brave. And I feel that perhaps that storm is building that brave, courageous energy within you. So let me read you this message on this card. It is time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. Virgo, look at that. What a powerful message. If this resonates for you today, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.